add another apology to that list. John Howard sent his apologies. Um, well earned, obviously. But there are many people um, who who are here this evening. We'd like to welcome Senator Christine Milne, who's here. Um, she's representing the socialist plot to destroy the Australian way of life. Um, oh, I've been listening to too much 2GB lately. Sorry about that. Um, uh, Malcolm Turnbull can't unfortunately be here. Obviously, he's no longer the leader of this movement, but he still believes he will be one day. So, you know, <laughs> common theme in Malcolm's life there. Yeah, Shames of uh, recent years, and I said this last last year that you know maybe one day if we got a Labor government, the uh, the Republican movement might might have a bit of a boost. But that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So I suppose we just have to keep our fingers crossed that Prime Minister Abbott will uh, advance the cause. I, <laughs> Not sure how well that, which is amazing because I actually thought that disqualified you from being a uh, Australian of the Year, but apparently not. Uh, so a fine achievement to get up after that. Um, but to welcome uh, Simon, please welcome to the stage now the Deputy Chair of the Australian Republican Movement. I, I like to think of him as the, as the Julie Bishop of the Australian Republic Movement, John Warhurst. Australian of the Year for 2011 is a remarkable person. And it's a great personal thrill for me to introduce him to you as our guest speaker this evening. His public offices are distinguished by their sheer breadth and by an inspiring commitment to justice and to Australia. Since June last year, he's been the chairman of the CSIRO, that great scientific and industrial research nation-building organisation. He is executive chairman of Macquarie Group's Melbourne office with personal expertise in corporate finance legal and mergers and acquisitions. He's also Chairman of Business for Millennium Development. A Commerce and Law graduate of Melbourne University, he is Patron of the Australian Olympic Sailing Team and he himself is a sportsman of high international achievement. With Tim Datto, he holds the world speed sailing record and sailed his catamaran Macquarie Innovation at over 50 knots. It's not a time of hopelessness, it's not a time where the, uh, the, glass, the glass is full and overflowing either. It is an awkward time. It's a time to uh, think carefully about where to from here, etc. and I'll share one or two thoughts with you in a moment. But I think one of the fabulous things is that it's a wonderful turnout, certainly having regard for uh, the day that's being put on out there today. And uh, I know that each and every one who is here tonight is not just here to uh, here, Julian Satire, but frankly to have a conversation around the various tables tonight as to really where to from here with an opposition leader who uh, frankly uh, you know has no issue in, in this issue at all, uh, sorry no interest in this issue at all, you know this clearly worked in Delhi this year. I was asked a question, um, what did I think of Australia becoming a republic? And I gave an answer which, upon reflection, was only half the answer. And I apologise to anyone in the room who has done all the heavy lifting for this movement over the last uh, 15 or 20 years. My answer was that I simply said, I believe it is inevitable. And I still stand by that. But there was an important qualification which I omitted. And indeed, it was a discussion with Mike the other day which reminded me of that qualification. It's going to require, firstly, a bit of luck, if I can express it that way. The stars will have to align politically such that it is bipartisan, and then going further than that, we've got um, leaders of uh, government and of opposition who, for whatever reason, are relaxed, indeed, hopefully supportive for uh, some sort of resolution to go forward. But in addition to that, which is a bit serendipitous, if you like, in addition to that, it still requires the hard work, that heavy lifting, as I said a moment ago, on the part of, um, it might be a few, but hopefully it's many more than a few. Because as Mike reminded me, becoming a republic may be inevitable, but it won't happen by itself. 